One of the few things in life that I've bought throughout my adulthood is speakers, bookshelf speakers I'm talking about. I mean, right down to when I was a teenager and I had a hi-fi and used to buy your own hi-fi setup. Well, kind of changed when I was a bit older because I bought separates and then I got my speakers and I was always searching for the best setup. And when it comes to speakers, really once you buy a purchase once and get it right, that can last for years. It's one of the few types of technology really enough that's left that you literally can buy a set of kit and it will work for years and years and years to come and bookshelf speakers are one of those things the technology hasn't really changed in the last i don't know 20 40 30 years whatever generally speaking you can buy a set of speakers and they will last for years and you can replace your equipment which needs updated but the speakers will stay the same. And I'm so glad that I said yes when I got an email for Mookie speakers or Mookie speakers. And I've been using them for the last two or three months, maybe two months, as my setup on my surround sound system. And they replaced Q Acoustics 210i's, which are not the most expensive speakers in the world, They're roughly when they first come out, uh, about £100, and that was maybe back in 2010, 2012, something like that. I think I bought them in 2015. And uh, I was very, very happy with them. But then I tried these Mookie speakers, and you might be able to see them in the background here. This is them here. And I was so pleasantly surprised now i've had to take them off because i'm actually doing some refurbishment downstairs and i will be doing a video once i get it all set up because i will be using those speakers front and back they were that good that i had to get a second set so they would all pair up and all be the same speaker albeit my middle speaker my center speakers will still be a q acoustic i was really really impressed with them so let's just go over uh the specs basically now, there are three-way five-inch passive bookshelf speaker. Now, a passive bookshelf speaker is something that needs its own amplifier. It won't work by itself. Uh, the overall frequent response is 20 to 20 kilohertz. Crossover frequency is 1 kilohertz. The maximum wattage is 55 per speaker, so that makes up the 110-watt speaker that you'll see when they get them advertised. Impedance is 6 ohms. And the weight is 5.8 kilograms per pair. The dimensions are about 6.61 by 7.71 by 10.63. And that's all in inches. This is one that has got the grill uh, taken off there. As you see, it's very, very attractive looking speaker. I think it's got a nice little Mookie emblem there. And also you can put the grate on it as well. So you can have it all black like you see behind me there. What I really like as well, it comes with its own focus, damn you, bracket. There you go. So you can mount them up on the wall very, very easily. Another really good feature is where you put in your connectors. Now you can either put them in through the wire or you can use little monkey clips. Is it monkey clips? I think they're monkey clips. So even if you use the monkey clip, it's still, you can still see how that's still gonna be flush maybe a little bit out if the worst came to the worst then you can always take them out and just use the speaker uh, the speaker without them it's a lovely black color and i have to say i'm very very impressed with them because i was expecting well i'm expecting them to sound pretty bad to be honest with you why because i was a snob i was a snob i was a snob a hi-fi audiophile snob not expecting uh, a little known name to be any good and boy was i surprised I actually prefer the sound of these to my Q Acoustics. I never thought I'd ever say that. Within the same price range, I definitely wouldn't thought of saying that because these are definitely within the same price range. And I found that the sound was a little bit brighter than the Q Acoustics. As I said, I can't say better than that. Actually, it's a three-way passive speaker. That means it's got separate tweakers for your treble, your mid and your bass. So that's why you get better sound, you see, because it's got separate tweakers for your mid and your bass and your treble. One thing I would like to change is the bottom. If there was some way that you could maybe have some sort of way you could screw it in so you could put them on top of some floor standing speaker mounts that would be really really handy at the moment they've got these little handy little feet at the bottom which do give quite good grip but it would be nice just to have 
the option to screw them down as well, but that's just a minor gripe. I just thought I'd do another video just to show a little bit more detail. These are the feet here. Now these little rubber mounds here give very good grip when they're on a surface like that. When you put them on a speaker stand, I like them to be screwed in. It's a personal preference and just because I've got kids and if the kids bump into them, the speaker doesn't fall off. That's all I mean. But to be honest with you, minor gripe for the price, these speakers sound incredible. Yeah. Really, really pleased with the sound. I am pleased. And I genuinely say that. And I will be using these as part of my setup. So I will be making a bit of video about that a little bit later on because I am getting housework. Housework? Housework? No, I'm getting work done in my house. Not housework. I think that's when you do your cleaning. Links will be in the description if you fancy a pair yourself. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you're everybody as well. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>